Now, the next thing we'll do is test this out on the dirt. Now, this isn't a huge space, but it will get the job done. And this is exactly where we filmed the initial video, the initial review video. So it'll be interesting to see how it gets on on the same surface. Well, straight away, you can tell there's not a huge amount of bounce now when it comes to the suspension system. That was one of the things that I really didn't like about the stock shocks. They were just a little bit too bouncy for my liking. But now we're running the WL toy shocks. This does feel a lot better. Now this buggy being so light, oh, I've got a little wheelie there. Having all that extra power, I'm having to feather the throttle a little bit because if I just slam the power on, it's just gonna keep spinning. Oh, nearly hit the camera there. Now, the steering on this does feel a lot better compared to the stock setup. I believe that was running a 3.5 kilogram servo. And now we're running a nine kilogram servo and you can definitely feel how much more precise the steering is. Oh yeah, this little buggy's got a lot of power now. It's definitely more enjoyable than it was on its brush setup. But it is a lot more difficult to control because it is a very light little buggy. And having all that extra power is definitely making it more of a handful to try and keep in a straight line. <laughs> I was looking last night and there has been quite a few YouTubers now who have featured this little buggy on their channel. And in the comments section, you see the same people mentioning the same things. And the main thing you notice is, oh, you shouldn't have got that buggy or, you know, don't bother getting this, get the WL toys, the 144001. Not only is it cheaper, but it has more metal components. It's just an overall better buggy. Now, I do think if this buggy was priced a little bit cheaper, it would be, you know, much better competition for the 144001. And there we go then. So was it actually worth doing a brushless conversion on this little one full team scale buggy well yes absolutely because as you see we did gain uh, some extra performance especially in the speed test we managed to achieve a 15 mile per hour increase over the stock electronics and on a buggy this size 36 miles per hour is a respectable little speed now not only that but the fact that we're now using oil filled shocks we've got an upgraded steering servo overall the buggy does perform a lot better because this buggy is so light, it did feel a little bit twitchy at times. Now, compared to the 144001, which I have also done a brushless conversion on, because that had a little bit of extra weight, it did feel a little bit more planted compared to uh, this little B416. But it was a lot of fun, and at one point, we were even popping wheelies. On the grass test, just like with the stock electronics, the buggy did feel a little bit sluggish. And we have to remember it is quite a small buggy. If you're looking to primarily run on grass, you may be better off looking for something with a little bit more ground clearance because I don't think that is the ideal surface to be running a buggy of this size on. Now, I think the main question a lot of people are gonna be asking is, do you go for this or do you go for the very popular WL Toys 144001? And it is a tough question and it is a big decision that you have to make because I really do like this little buggy, especially now it's running the brushless setup and I'm gonna look at changing the ESC around as well. Uh, I really do think this is a great little platform. We need to give it a fair chance and I think if you're looking for something a little bit different uh, compared to the 144001, this is a very good little solid option to go for. Uh, and I really do think this would make for a good chassis for speed runs or other projects. I really do like this little buggy. If this was priced a little bit lower, I really do think it would be 
very good competition for the 144001. We have to remember the 144001 has been around for quite a while now. This is a relatively new buggy and trying to get hold of parts is still going to be a little bit difficult, but I have no doubt this is going to get super popular and parts are going to be available everywhere. So we're going to leave the video there today. I really hope you enjoyed seeing this little brushless conversion in action. If you did, be sure to drop a comment down below. Let me know what you make of this little buggy. Do you think it is still a good option or do you think the 144001 is still going to be the very best budget RC you can go for? Let me know in the comment section down below, guys. But apart from that, we're going to leave it there today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon on the next one. Take care.